uh, I look around the room. Uh, very nice to have Brian back and yeah. uh, doing beautiful work, and so is uh, Damo. But our man from Bali, Bristle, yeah, fresh back in. He's browned up. <laughs> Looks like he's been in the tanning clinic. <laughs> <laughs> the Ducks here. Welcome back, Ducks. Yeah, g'day, guys. How are we? Oh, now uh, we need. We'll get to last night and talk about North, I, I guess, because with Rui coming in later, we can cover off the Saints for uh, all of our uh, hundreds of thousands of Saints fans who would have been happy. But a couple of things we need to cover off. I don't know whether you've been aware of this uh, duck in your absence, but there's been uh, just a little, uh, a little nitpicking at our man Bristle. <laughs> About um, what happens after the game on the Seven Network, Roaming yep. Brian. Yes. We actually started it on this station. Whispering Brian. We called it Whispering Brian. <laughs> and uh, that was a good 15 years ago, and it was a segment that dominated. And then <laughs> Seven now doing a very good job of it. And Bristle, there have been some critics of, well, some questions asked about it, which I don't think are fair. How have they sat with you during the week? Um, look, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's a difficult thing Oh, I know. It's not a difficult thing to do. I can't say that, but it is. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it, the hardest thing about walking around the rooms is bumping into people you don't know. Yep. And while I sit up in the commentary box uh, three games every weekend and have for the last 20 years, I think I know the players from a perspective yep. of a commentary box. But when you get up close to them uh, and all yeah. of a sudden you can't see their number and you can't see their physical sort of uh, approach of the person, it's a lot more difficult. And then last night, like, run into a couple of... Gentlemen in suits, looking rather official. St Kilda, yep. didn't realise one of them the president. The lowest profile president ever in the history of football. Yep. Uh, you know, it, it, you bump it into the... That's the hard thing about it, not quite Bristol, knowing who they are. I totally agree with you because I'll put my hand high and say that after 10 years of being the president of one club, I mm. still didn't know everyone in the yeah. room. <laughs> and at, w- at one stage, uh, beautiful Carly, who's done the... Yep. Uh, the uh, apparel down there, you know, the players' gear for years, a magnificent lady, needed a bit of, of a hand taking stuff out and putting it on the truck. And I said, well, give me one of those bags. And I said, you've already got a bloke over there helping you. She said, no, that's Kane Turner. He was the emergency <laughs> <today."> <laughs> I didn't even know it was KT yeah. had come in late for his first game. So you're not expected to know everyone. I think that's a nonsense. And secondly, for me, Damo, this is what I am fearful of in our caper. And that is... Television, I was saying this to you before, television where you're watching and you don't know what's going to happen next, for me, is liquid gold. Yep. And there's virtually none of it left in 2017 because we're so vanilla and we're so prepackaged and everyone's so terrified of anyone saying the wrong thing or whatever that you never, ever watch television anymore where you genuinely don't know what's going to happen next. It's why Sam Newman, for 25 years, has been the best act in television because you watch him still to this day and have no idea what the hell he's going to do next. And for me, that's br- oh, excuse me, brilliant. And see, what we do on Triple M, we normally just spend an hour and a half, two hours of hanging you-know-what on each other. I want to be genuine here, BT, when I say... As, no, you're not. No, did sorry. I text you last night and say the same thing? I, I think what Jim's saying, the awkwardness potentially of what you do in that space, which runs for eight or nine minutes, doesn't it, Duck? Where you just yeah. let him roam. The awkwardness, Jim, it either is awkward yeah. or it's potentially awkward. That is just fascinating Perfect. viewing. I and, agree. And, and the fact you don't know the names, it, it's, it makes for that well, moment, BT. I'm not, I'm not saying this because I'm obviously work at the same station, sitting there watching it live every uh, Friday mm. night, but I, I love it as well. I really do. I, I just think it's... It's fascinating TV, and I also think that... People f- having a crack because I went into a room that had nothing in it last night. Well, guess what? Before I went into the room, I didn't know it had nothing you in know, it. Exactly. I just went there. That's but right, but yeah. you handled that moment well. You walk, we're into this room now, Andy Dad's got nothing in it. And then you wheel around. But, but BT, it's seriously, as GBC, it's not scripted TV in, in a world where everything is Which written is rare, down yeah. in advance of yeah. what they're about to say. And the yeah. questions that BT ask, and, some, and what, what's great about it as well, you're not just talking to the stars. The fans out there, even though BT might know them at the start, he, he knows them certainly after he asks them a question. And the, and the people out there get to meet these younger kids that don't we don't normally hear Interview. speak. Yeah. And the questions that he he's asking are easy questions, just yeah. like, you know, how'd you pull yeah. up? How'd you find the game? Very simple. Questions and Unlikely we get to, to stump them. That's right. And yep. we get to hear those kids speak. I think it's great. Except you probably shouldn't have gone back on when you got back up to the main booth because you hadn't done your fly-up oh, when Bristol, you went back on. I well, heard about this. Hang on. 
You hadn't, BT. And uh, we're, we're being inundated with tweets today Hamish reminding us of this. said, come across here quickly. I was getting dressed. It's oh, not no. my fault. Was your fly down? My plan was to not go back on TV. Bristol. My fly was down because I was half-dressed. I'd only just got it done up, and then I Bristol. had to hold my hand over did, the, did you the have cods. The, did you have the tag out or not? This is what I'm hearing, having we're, not seen it on live television. I had to box up because <laughs> I, had to, uh, I had to box up, and uh, that's why I did if anyone's uh, wondering. <laughs> <laughs> now, but oh. Jim, Jim, ducks fight up. Well, it, it, I know. Well, this we need to move honest. from that because we Come put on. that one to bed. I love it, and not everyone does, but not everyone loves anything. So, oh, bloody, I love it. it. Uh,